Uh, this is a brief profile of who we are and what we have done before. I'm Alan. I have experiences in finance as well as retail marketing and tech management. I'm proud to present our CTO Justin. He happened to be our Stanford Master graduate who has worked in Silicon Valley in R&D before. My marketing guy is Jack. He has real working experiences in telecom marketing. And last but not least, Fang Kai, our operation guru. He has real working experiences in production engineering as well. Our junior staff team, she is currently our BBA JD student, but she does have applicable knowledge in law, which should help us in understanding this disclaimer and all the administrative issue. And David Armstrong, our advisor, his competency is in technology and entrepreneurship. And Dr. Jiang, he has got 20 years in this field. When you talk about healthcare technology, biomedical sensors, he is the right guy to talk to. Uh, the reason why I show you this is not I didn't take this chance as a show of how good we are. I just want to tell you that we are a team that is committed and capable to deliver what we deliver here today. And this is how we ambition in bringing this team and this plan into reality. In the first six months, that will be our product development stage and production will start. As you notice here, there will be an overlap between marketing and product development. That's because once the prototype starts, one prototype is done. We can actually uh, facilitate marketing to gather market awareness as well as getting customers involved at an earlier stage so that we can tailor and potentially pull deals and develop a product that fits their need. Nobody can do everything by himself, and no business can create their entire relationship by itself. Even though we are at a very energy stage, I'm proud to say we have not one, but two strategic alliances who have signed a memorandum of interest with us. One on the surprise for the electronic industry, and the other one, definitely my partners, uh, that senior home, of Gromo. I like this slide a lot because it shows the relationship and how we can work with our alliances to turn the will together to provide and create values. Um, in the last minute or two, instead of going through again all these um, financial marketing ideas, I want to share with you the values that defines us, my team, to stand here to share with you our vision. Even though we are not young, we understand that life is go off and young and a better. These are the people we love and those who love us. That makes everything worthwhile. And this is the mission and vision that we that our team is trying to defend. And I would like to uh, introduce my new friend here, Mr. and Mrs. Chan in the center. We met them during our senior home visit. Mr. Chan is 97 years old. Mrs. Chan is 93. They have been married for 70 years since World War II. To me, to love and be loved. To care and be cared. This defines my being as a human and differentiate me myself from anything else. And this couple here definitely share this spirit. For the last 10 years, on a daily basis, Mr. Chen has been taking care of his wife by cutting her hair, massaging her feet, as well as feeding her. They share love and care as much or more than anybody else in this room. And here on this stage, I would like to humbly ask all of you and judges to support and to help us in helping our visions come true, not because the five of us here, but because of the real people out there waiting for the care that we can deliver, the care they deserve. Life, losing one is already one too many. With this up, uh, this concludes our presentation today, and I'll let you open the floor for joining. Our presentation is um, is practiced in English, but our team actually speaks both English and Cantonese. Thank you. Uh, it's the loved ones who matter. It's these people you are looking to care for. You have identified a very good product. You want to pass the product for them to use. And you want to make three and a half million dollars in the third year. It looks more like to me that you people are smart enough to identify a product that is well into development and possibly production. 
and you want to monopolize it. What I would rather do is to promote people in this audience to go and talk to Professor Young and say, look, let me help you commercialize this product and make it a real product that can help people without being criminal off in profit. How would you respond to that? Very, very good question. Because um, <clears throat> I think there is two unique, I don't know if I'm trying to, uh, I can answer the question clearly. I see two points here. First point, what's the uniqueness of us? Why can we deliver values? As a business, I think um, technology is one thing, but the ability to actually talk to the customer and also put money down into product development uh, is another thing. Uh, and I think the team here, actually, like uh, the people we have here, actually have unique benefit that can facilitate from the technology to the business. Uh, as I've shown you our profile, I'm, it's not a show of how good we are, but it's just that I want to let you know that I believe we have unique values that we can bring into business and without us. <clears throat> it's not something that some random people out there can do. We need a people who has R&D experiences, in very good R&D experiences so that we can do product development. We need people who can actually produce product for the chair and your I need to stop you there because oh, I think you're going the wrong thing. Okay, that's okay. What my question actually was is I was hearing a very good business proposal. I did not hear a very good social enterprise proposal. Where is the social angle? The social angle is that we want to save life. That's the preposition. The right reason why we have a project with such a huge problem is because there is certain risk involved in trying to bring this well to the society. With a substantial potential um, return, I can go out and find See, see if I can guide you right. I, I, what I'm saying is, I am hearing that the product appears to be a very good product, which actually can go out and save lives. But I don't know whether you people are actually doing a social enterprise. Well, I, I'd like to address this. Okay. First, um, yes, we want to save lives. That's our basic goal. But without being financially sustainable, there's no way we can carry our vision forward. And, and the profit that we will use, it will further develop products that target for other markets. So senior homes is just our first focus. So without the financial sustainability, without the profit, we cannot go on to help more and more people that need this product. And, um, and their lives depends on whether we can provide first aid to them immediately. So uh, that's, if I answer, I don't know if it's answer your question. Basically, from the profit we earn from our plan and our work, we actually would like to reinvest back into our plan and our work, and so that we can actually, from what we reinvest, we can actually further help and improve our product, so that we can even save more lives and help more elderly people. We are not saying like save lives, lives, but we are actually helping them from like from because. You know, as you know, nurses are very busy, and it's very hard to like ask them to take measurements for the seniors all the time throughout the night. But with our solution, we can ex assist the, the nurses, and actually, it's just an aid for the seniors. Yes. Uh, Tim, you know, um, I understand Professor Zhang is uh, famous in his field, right? Can you tell us a little bit more about this product? You know, because uh, he's measure, you know, some uh, uh, pretty important life vitals, you know, of the people. Yeah. Is it a blanket, is it a mattress, or, or exactly how it works? There's got to be many parameters or variables that affect, you know, the performance of that. And noting that it is still in an infant stage of uh, research. Um, 